The F-35 is the most expensive weapon ever created. Its projected lifetime cost? $1.7 trillion. That's more than Russia's GDP and far more than the cost of the atomic bomb, which came in at just about $2 billion. In fact, if the lifetime cost of the F-35 was a country, its GDP would rank 11th in the world. Thinking about buying one? It will cost you $100 million or more, and each hour of flight will be upwards of $36,000, which is more than many people earn in a year. So why the hefty price tag? According to government auditors, the F-35 is one of the most complicated pieces of technology on Earth. Although that may sound like a good thing, it's not. The F-35 is a family of single-engine supersonic stealth fighters developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division. The craft packs a significant amount of tech into its small single-seater cockpit. The plane itself is effectively one massive computer. It uses a staggering 8 million lines of code, and over 24 million lines run the aircraft's maintenance and logistics software on the ground. However, this code is notoriously buggy. In several instances, pilots had to reboot the multi-million dollar radar mid-flight. Fortunately, the F-35 fleet is receiving a projected $16 billion software upgrade. Unfortunately, this upgrade is already two years behind schedule and $1.5 billion over budget. The F-35 family currently has three main configurations. The F-35A is for conventional takeoff and landing and was designed to operate off of land-based runways. The F-35B is equipped with short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities. This means that the B version of the craft can operate like a helicopter and in a wide variety of environments. Finally, the F-35C version is designed exclusively for the United States Navy, more specifically for use on its nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. In these situations, the craft have to be able to launch and land quickly on the ship's short decks. But all three versions of the plane ended up at least three years behind schedule, and they wound up sharing less than a quarter of their parts, instead of the anticipated 70%. Parts shortages have plagued F-35s as a result. There are also critical design flaws, which according to some claims, have even caused parts of the plane to start melting during flight. Yet the jet can fly mostly undetected through enemy radar, thanks to its external shape and smooth exoskeleton. Coupling this design with the jet's Pratt & Whitney F-135 low-bypass augmented turbofan engine, which is rated at a thrust of 43,000 foot-pounds, means that when it is able to fly, it can reach air speeds of 1,200 miles per hour. This sounds impressive. However, the world's top fighter jets regularly reach speeds exceeding 2,000 miles per hour. The craft can carry 18,000 pounds of explosives and weapons in its fully loaded state. These are carried in two outboard stations, each capable of holding 2,500 pounds of mission essential weapons, along with two inboard stations that carry air-to-air -air missiles in case the craft encounters enemies in the air. When stealth is less of an issue, the F-35 can be loaded up with two more weapons stations on the wings, capable of holding a variety of air-to-surface weapons packages. But again, this falls far short of other fighter jets. The F-15EX, for example, can carry nearly 30,000 pounds of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. Yet the F-35 may still be the best way forward. Several countries have already bought versions of the F-35, and trying to develop another new fighter jet from scratch would be prohibitively expensive. Additionally, the F-35 replaces many older planes, for which we have no ready alternative, as older fighters lack the stealth needed in modern warfare. The F-35 has been under development for more than two decades, and given the amount of money that has already been spent, the project may be too big to fail.